Ace Attorney is the only piece of this Venn diagram that I have not watched or played. I, all I know is that these two are rivals, red and blue rivals. Mm -hmm. We've got um, Phoenix Wright. He is the Saul Goodman for innocent people. If you have even the most damning evidence in the world against you, he will prove your innocence. And then I know we got Miles Edgeworth, the, the classic gay rival that everybody has, you know. He also has unnecessary feelings towards Phoenix. I know about that one. And uh, Almost Christmas. I know about Almost Christmas. Um, almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. And that's the extent of my Ace Attorney knowledge. So this will be all pretty much new to me. Oh, someone like him. Oh, framing him. I'll make it look like he did it. Are we just knowing the culprit ahead of time? <laughs> All right, tutorial case, let's go. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Oh, hiya, Chief. Hello, Miss Chief. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. Oh my god, is this my first case ever? Is this Phoenix's first case in his whole career? His name is Butts. He, he's looking like Kaito Momota, you know, with the thumbs up and the spiky hair and the goatee. Larry Butts. Mm -hmm, better than Harry Butts. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. I bet you protected him when the other kids tried to bully him because of his name. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Oh, there it is! No, there it is! <laughs> Oh no! It was a joke! Oh no! This is a murder trial. What's the victim's name? Uh, the, ca the case report cover. I actually don't know this. Oh no, this information was not presented to me! No! Uh, no! He forgot! Cindy. Alright, do we have a last name or is just Cindy enough? Or is her last name autopsy? <laughs> Oh wait, also, attorney's badge. Oh, I have my little pineapple slice. Mr. Wright, who is the victim? Cindy... Wait, can I actually read more? Cindy Stone, there we go, there we go. Cinder Bl oh yeah, it says Cinder, not Cindy, wow. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the oh, victim- Oh, I think I cracked my ass. <laughs> Larry Butts cracked his ass! Butts cracked his butts! The victim was a model but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Oh my god, I love that it's in quotes like that. Daddies? Sugar. Uh, I should stop him from answering. Slam! My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant! He's doing the point! That's our first point! He's doing the point! Is Larry Butts known as a himbo, because I'm getting that. Please bring Mr. Frank Saw- Frank Saw- <laughs> This fucking name. <laughs> yes, uh, allow me to be Frank. I saw it. <laughs> oh, look at him, just like hee 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 hee. Yes, it was 1pm for certain. Frankly. I find- Frankly, Frank saw it. I find it hard to believe you saw it at that time, because she was alive at that time. There was nobody to, uh, no- NOBODY! Oh! That, and you seem rather distraught. Oh my god, is he wearing, a, like, a toupee or something? <laughs> Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it! Of course you did, Mr. Saw It. That day, I never! Look, I the clock! Oh god, he's losing it. Ooh! Oh my god! First day in court, and I get a, a wig thrown in my face. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in their apartment was wrong! Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw It? Er, say- ah! I love <laughs> Should 
ever say. Mr. Did it! <laughs> oh god, ooh. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty! Woo! Yay! We did it! Is he wearing shoes at all? It looks like he's just wearing socks. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. This man's name just changed to Harry. Why is everyone calling him Harry now? I didn't know it then. Uh-oh. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Ooh! And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. <gasps> oh no, is she getting the bonk with the... Did she get bonked with the, the thing? Ho ho! My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. No, no, no! Is she getting bonked by the statue too? No! No! Oh, I'm late. I'd hit it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, that guy certainly did hit it. Literally. <laughs> Does this word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... that's my name. What? A victim drew this, this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. No, 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 no. <laughs> Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. No, my god, dude. You, wow. Great detective work. One piece of evidence, and then... Yep. Hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. I think you suck at your job, Mr. Gumshoe. Like, I think... Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? The city's... <gasps> I cannot wait to meet this man. I need to meet him. Tell me about my, my future husband. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course not. <laughs> Never heard of him. The sky is blue and so am I. <laughs> what? Because my suit? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Uh. Uh. Tell him straight, tell him gay. What to do. I'm sorry, I think I gotta go. <laughs> All right, something the matter? It's just, you know. Oh, so the gay option was the right one. I should know better than to pick the straight option. Oh. Oh my god, she's like a little meow. I, I half expected her to meow there with her with her arms up like that. Why do where are her cat ears? Well, oh, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. <laughs> yeah, you're too not straight for this, dude. A screw A screwdriver. Someone tampered with the phone. Oh my god, she's scary. Oh god. She's got like the cat eyes now. Oh jeez. I think she's an accomplice. There's a screwdriver in there and the phone was tampered with. There were screws taken out of the phone. So the screws were loosened in the phone. So, uh, that's kind of sus. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know some flowers and tools, but that's about it. Do you not recognize those as roses, my dude? <laughs> Oh my god, Phoenix Wright doesn't know what roses are. <laughs> Mom, come pick me up, I'm scared! Are we about to meet the other baby girl of this game? <gasps> Prosecution is ready, your honor. I don't know what kind of voice to give him. 
Like, I feel like a, like a nerdy, like, pushing up the glasses type. Like, I don't know. Miles Edgeworth. I'm staring into his eyes across the aisle. We are having a moment. I better not show any signs of weakness today. He'll be on me in an instant. What if I want him on me, though? <laughs> Well, she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Did she write? No, if, there's a, if she did, she would have written 11037. Yes, this is. Mr. Wright, you look shocked. You are not a clown. You are the entire circus. Something you want to say? I'm a sh- <laughs> You are at fault, de detective. This isn't going to look good on your- Oh my god, this dude is petty as hell! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Look at him being all dramatic, like taking a bow and everything! Was he a theater kid? Cause I'm kinda getting those vibes, like... I know the internet has probably done it a lot already, but I'm going to baby girlify this man so hard by the end of this game. I just know it. April May. Oh god, not the booba jiggle. How did they put jiggle physics on a 2D sprite? I love that he's just unfazed by the booba. Yeah. Evidence. A different type of evidence. You know. I'll gladly proceed with cross-examination. Only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. <laughs> See, Phoenix can be petty back. Look at this. <laughs> Petty bitch! <laughs> I love him and hate him. No, I don't hate him. No. I, I, I want- I wanna put him- I wanna put him in a plastic bag and smash him against the wall. Like, oh my god, I'm already getting these feelings about him. Oh, I just know it's only gonna get worse. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, he's losing it. Oh no! <laughs> Here I am, just like giggling and kicking my feet at this man, just like slowly becoming more and more enraged. Oh my god! Oh, she's Morbin! She's Morbin! What is that face? Is she trying to make like a like an angry Giga Chad face or something? Cause it's not working. That's when you heard it. He says objection and he just stares at me. Longingly. You truly are a work of art, Mr. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to call another man a work of art on the very day that you meet him? I'm just taking a little screenshot of this cause this feels important. Miss May. Perhaps you could explain to the poor, misguided Mr. Wright. <laughs> I want to throw him against a wall. I want to put him in a hamster ball and shake. <laughs> Fool. to my trap! <laughs> Your attitude? <laughs> Why are you such a bitch? Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer! <laughs> I'm sorry, this out of context is so good. <laughs> you know, you hate lawyers? Here, have my attorney badge. <laughs> A is... I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere before. Okay, <laughs> look at me just stealing. <laughs> look at me just stealing from his office. Cool. Oh, fine. I'll talk. You win, lawyer. Yes. Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. 
<laughs> Mans gets one, like, smidgen of cooperation from her, and he's like, this is the best day ever. Wow. Why are you pumping your piss in me? <laughs> he's such a dork! <laughs> so, I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordily challenged. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, did you say? Yes, and I know what it is. You're a lover! <laughs> I have to go with it. I have to do this. I have to do this. <laughs> it's not something I can claim to understand. You're talking about being attracted to Mr. White and not men in general, right? Because I don't understand how anyone could be into that gross man. <laughs> But you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? What, my boy? You sent that painting to him as a sign, a sign of undying love. <laughs> I'll swallow my pride. No, it's okay. Be who you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew it. Be who you are for your pride, Mr. Grossberg. Uh, the DL incident. That'd be A through I. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye! <laughs> God, I love that this game is full of puns. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Uh, well... Help me break out of here! <laughs> uh... Should I be silly? Let's be silly. Right, okay, listen up. It's jailbreaking time. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually commit a crime. Instead of one that, uh, instead of being falsely accused, I will go commit a real crime, and then they'll have a reason to lock me up. You mean, a jailbreak? Yeah, tonight's our only chance. All right, oh my god, wait, she's actually going for this? Oh no, wait, no, 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 no. I, I meant this as a joke. I meant this as a joke, Maya. Please don't take this seriously. Huh? Oh, I better go- What?! Girl! This is a joke! Please! I was trying to be silly! Please! I was trying to be silly! I am a silly man in a suit! Do not take me seriously! What? We do not need a hacksaw, please! Oh! Oh! And a rope ladder? And a getaway car! Can you drive? Wait, 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 wait... What, what, what? I'm kidding! It was a joke! No way! No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. Yeah, I mean, I do appreciate that she was willing to do all that for me. That's cool. Oh, Phoenix, look! <gasps> Front-facing jump scare. So you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that with your little angry man stare? Mr. Your Honor, my stomach is hurting. Well, you have if you have a tummy ache, then you need to be brave about it. As someone with gastrointestinal issues, the world does not stop for us, unfortunately. So too bad. Nope. If you have to shit yourself, do it right there. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Ah! Dude looked like he was taking a massive shit there. Maybe we should have let him go to the bathroom. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you forgot about the beautiful man standing across from you? Mr. Wright. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? Oh? 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 I know Edgeworth- is Edgeworth like siding with me because he wants to get to the truth of the case, doesn't he? I said. You should confess your crime. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, dude always has to go for the guilty verdict and everything, but he also hates crime, so like, yeah. Oh shit, was this scripted? <laughs> I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. You were a worthy rival. 
May we meet again. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Of course not! You are Phoenix Wright. No! No, 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 no! No! Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. Is it Mr. Larry? Oh my god, is Mia's subconscious speaking to me? Oh my god, am I hallucinating? <laughs> oh no, I am seeing a hallucination of my dead boss when I'm being accused of her murder. Ah, oh, the final... Gek! My dude. Did she fake her death? Wait, what? Was this whole thing a setup for her to fake her death and get Mr. Wright convicted of her murder? To, like, get justice for her mother and, like, everybody else whose lives he ruined? That's- that might be kind of far-fetched, but, like, yeah. Gak? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Wait. Hello? Are you... Dis have you been disguised as your sister this whole time? Has there been a body double of sorts here? Maya- oh wait, Maya is a spirit medium. Oh god, did she summon Mia's spirit to speak through her to me? I also love the whole the whole body changed, you know? I guess it's not just like a, the speech and whatever, but your whole body changes whenever someone possesses you. <laughs> this court finds the defense. Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty, yeah. We Oh my confetti! <laughs> Confetti in the courtroom, yay! He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? Oh my god, she's like me. Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? It's called getting in touch with her inner child. She Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this. Yeah, he's a Norman. My partner's a normie. Sorry about that. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. He doesn't understand the youths of these days. Aren't you excited? Hey! Oh, oh back! <laughs> Who comes up with these names? Is this like... Is this like the equivalent of like vulgar boy, pleasant boy, student with ribbon and hair? Just our first impression? And she's just an old bag? <laughs> We're, um, lawyers. Who's we? Do you have one of these, Maya? If not, you have no right to call yourself a lawyer. Uh, will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't- Phoenix, come on! Come on, you're not supposed to say that. Here. What's that? You're giving that to me? No, I'm showing it to you. Because I am a t an attorney. And the detectives in this area suck at their jobs. And so I gotta do the work for them. So let me in, I gotta investigate. Hey, I have a badge, what if I show this to her? Detective, see this? This is my attorney's badge. Uh-huh. Don't you think it's a little sad when you have to explain what your badge means, pal? Oh my god, dude! Don't drag him like that! Maybe it's just- Not a whole- I don't want to be a walking L! I don't want a badge that says L! <laughs> I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that's- I mean, it is kind of like a big look- Whoa, that actually- wait, that actually looks oversized. Now that I'm looking at it, the pant legs looked too long. So it could have been like a smaller person wearing it, I guess. Will the witness declare her name? She's- <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, is she gonna be remembered as like, a star back in the day? Cause she did mention that. Hmm? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> 
man, dude has no tolerance for bullshit and no heterosexual tendencies. I love him. Wendy- WHAT?! THAT'S HER REAL- <laughs> Oh yeah, this is Phoenix Ray, Ace Attorney. The names are gonna be wonky like that. I thought that was just like a first impression name. I didn't realize that was like her real name. Very on the nose. So just- oh, oh my god. Even when I was young, I was an old bag. Oh my god. Objection! I- <laughs> Oh, I love this man! Phrasing, Phoenix. Phrasing. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy! <laughs> Edgy boy! <laughs> he is a bit edgy. Edgy boy? Ugh. Old windbag sure has balls. <laughs> Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right? He <laughs> He's such a dork. <laughs> oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes number two, baby! He's such a dork. Hey. Take a look at this. Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that, whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way to help you. Sorry. Aww. And a bench. I'm bushed, so let's sit next to the bush. This is exactly why I don't want to get old ever. Hey, he's not old, he's 20 freaking four! Just like me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You start having to say, I'm still young, you know it's all over. Maya, no! I am still young. Oh my god. Now I'm feeling old. You don't have a driver's license? <laughs> <laughs> I may not have a driver's license, but I have my little pineapple slice. <laughs> we have flowers. There's some flowers here. Can you identify them, Phoenix? Or are, like sunflowers and daisies still the only ones that you know? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh wait, why is that? Why is that one part bent? That's kind of sus. And then this- the fact that they're not like commenting on this is kind of weird. Wait, if the drain's covered, that boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Oh my god, Maya, please no. My- I'm getting- Maya is just slowly revealing herself to be an agent of chaos, and I'm here for it. Yeah. She's just a silly girl. Oh god! I don't want to mess up Penny's handiwork, but like, what if something's out there? You know what? I'm sorry, Penny. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken! <laughs> Oh no, I'm so sorry, Penny. Yay! You know, Nick, yours pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah! Here, that should make the kids. <laughs> yep, we're just gonna let a bunch of kids snooping in here. The things we do. Wait. Hello? Is somebody speaking like this out loud? WTF? Who are J00 D00 Yeah, I'm definitely getting Reddit vibes from this guy, for sure. What is it? No. On closer inspection. Hmm. You should be grateful. No! We're not! grateful for this! No! No! He's right there, officer! Get him off my screen! Get him off my screen! Oh my god, I am not reading that. Uh, I feel like I need a shower after that. Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. Oh. Sleeping. It's sleeping, but I was even thinking, what if somebody slipped Mr. Powers some sleeping pills so they could sneak in 
to the dressing room and, like, get away with the costume. She's kind of reminded me of Mariah um, from JoJo Part 3. This still bugs me. I'm probably fixating on this too much, but this bent prong still bugs me. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Have we even considered the sleeping pills, though? Like, that's a pretty damning piece of evidence, you know? Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Because I'm about to see Edgeworth's ugly, stupid, ugly, beautiful face. Something overlooked, like the bottle of sleeping pills? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. And I'm guessing if we didn't make a note of the bent fence in any of our observations, then it's not going to be a big deal. But it's bugging me. Why is that part of the fence bent? It's probably nothing. But it bugs me. Why is it like, why is it like that? Hi. Hi again. Hi. Hi, edgy boy. Can I call you that? I know you didn't like old bag calling you that, but it's different if it's Phoenix, right? He can call you anytime. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and profession? <sighs> oh, God. How rude can you get? You don't know me. I'm the director. Up. Do I have to read his lines out loud? Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I'm adding this to my little screenshot collection. Miss- Mrs. Monkey? It's called Mr. Monkey, though. It's called Mr. Monkey. Wow, fake fan, Edgeworth. It's called Mr. Monkey. Come on, don't go- accusing women of, like, doing bad things. And if it was Mrs. Monkey, I'd give her a pass, but not Mr. Monkey. Yeah, there it is. It's actually Mr. Monkey. Come on, Edgeworth, get your facts straight. Although it's impossible for you to get your facts straight, if you know what I mean. No fact is straight with you. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. Come on, do it, Phoenix. Make him look stupid. Come on. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning! Miles! Come on, Miles! I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna be mean to a kid like that! Come on! Do you really think that little of me, Mr. Edgeworth? Hey! Witness! What's this about, uh, God, you're- you're- you're being harsh to kids, huh? What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. And you are worried about me being mean to the kid? Take a look in the mirror, Mr. Edgelord. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture! Hey! Why don't we look through the picture, yeah. Bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow! <laughs> this feels great. What? Humbling a kid like this, Phoenix? I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. I don't! Well, maybe a little, but I like seeing him in pathetic situations. Tell me about him. Yes. Tell me about Prosecutor Edgeworth. Tell me about him. How is Edgeworth doing anyway? Yeah, just a, just a little, little conversation about him, you know. How's he doing? Just want to check up on him. Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, talk about burns, pal. Wow, the theory of Edgeworth. Aw, if his hand dis- dis- I feel like Phoenix probably has warm hands and Edgeworth has cold hands. But, uh, what's his, mar what's his marital status looking like? Yeah, tell me about that. Does he have a ring, you know? Guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties- WHAT?! WHAT?! Okay! Just dropping that on us out of nowhere? Classic old bag bomb drop? Okay! Oh my god. <gasps> the spike! The spike! The, the, the fence! That's why the fence is bent! Ooh! 
conversation interests me. Let's talk about him more inside the trailer. Uh-oh. I hope she's not gonna kill me inside the trailer. I hope I'm not walking to my death here. Excuse me! Oh my god, she actually spoke with an ex exclamation mark. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. Oh no, she's facing me straight on now. Oh, it's always so unsettling when the characters that always like look off to the sides face you head on, just like Phineas. Give it to me, now. And what if I don't want to? What? This is. <gasps> oh no, she did. <laughs> oh no, she did bring me in here to kill me. She did. Oh no. Testify again. Let's do this. I'd like you to testify again. I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Objection. Oh, Miles! Oh god, Miles has something for her! Goddamn! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting. <laughs> God, this dude acts like such a big shot, but he really has no clue what he's doing, huh? He's really just as clueless as Phoenix, isn't he? <laughs> I'm gonna choke. I'm gonna choke. Uh, I was buying time, hoping that I would think of something to say within the next few seconds, and I didn't. My apologies, Your Honor. <laughs> this man... <laughs> I love him! He's so silly! Objection. Oh, have you, have you thought of something to say now? Or are you trying the same tactic again? I request that the witness- <laughs> I literally just did that! What? He's copying me! Oh my god, Edgeworth! You're taking a- uh, dude. He, he's plagiarizing my courtroom techniques. I literally just asked for her to testify again. Come on, Edgeworth. Come on. You're literally just copying me. You want to be me so bad, huh? Do you want to be me or be with me? What are you trying to get here? Indeed. <laughs> he's just making up filler words now. Not making up words, but he's just trying to fill the silence. Just saying a bunch of words. Wow. Maybe Edge Edgeworth, it is you that is the entire circus, my boy. That seems kind of sus. She's like, how would you have known ahead of time to not bring that? Yeah. Objection! Ooh! Get him, Edgeworth! Yeah, how would she know ahead of time that there was a murder there? Mm hmm I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Get him, Edgy boy! Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She knew the body was there. She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Hoo -hoo! Got him! What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? Maybe he's just thinking he's just thinking about doing what's right. How about that? Maybe he has a moral backbone. I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. <laughs> I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. That's my baby girl! Let's go! <laughs> Can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Aw, he likes you. Oh, he's staring lovingly into my eyes. Say something right. <laughs> you want you you're staring at me, dude. You're staring at me and you want me to say something? Why are you staring at me? You think my eyes are beautiful? I'm a big fan. <gasps> oh my god, he's a nerd! Oh my god, he's a nerd! <gasps> he's a dork! Oh my god! He likes the steel samurai! <laughs> oh my god, he <laughs> Everything I learn about him just makes him even better. Oh my god. <laughs> In retrospect, it would have been- No! Wait, why does this sound like- <laughs> Is this one of those cases of gay people breaking up before they're even dating? Is this what's happening here? Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, there it is! Hello? I did not think this was gonna happen! 
happened this early into the game? Oh my god, he said the thing! I'm still just genuinely shocked that it came this early into the series. I thought this was gonna take place later on after they did like more cases and like whatnot together. But the fact that it's this early is kind of wild to me. And after apparently they like knew each other in the past, and only after like reuniting for a couple cases like this, on opposing sides even, suddenly all these feelings are welling up inside him. Unnecessary feelings? Yeah, people are gay, Phoenix. Are you aware that homosexuality exists? Unease and uncertain- No, this is- Do you know what this is making me think of? This is literally making me think of, um, Amity. And like, towards like, season two of the Owl House, before like, she and Luz got together, she was like, Being around you makes me do stupid things and it wish it, I wish it didn't. That's literally making me think of this. And like, ever since she like came into my life, like she her ta telling like her sister and all that, like things have been like so uncertain. I don't know what's happening. And like everything that I thought my whole life is just kind of like changing and everything right now. And like, it's a good thing, but it's still scary because it's so new, but I know it's a good thing. And like, it's literally reminding me of that. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. <laughs> you know what this is giving? I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I hate you. Your deft handling of your unique circumstances, your ability to surpass me, all these irritate me. You're the one person I refuse to lose to. <laughs> this is literally giving rank eight a catchy. Mr. Wright was the <laughs> guy your friend! <laughs> Yes, he is a, a very good friend, even. Historians would call us very good friends. <laughs> what? Friends? As if? They're boyfriends! <laughs> I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. We're rivals! And they were rivals! Nothing is gayer than rivals. Literally, rivals to lovers is the superior gay trope for a reason. For now, we are. I guess. Maybe one day we'll be more than rivals. Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Oh, Maya. Come on, Maya. You have to know. You have to be more emotionally intelligent than these two men. Miles is super emotionally constipated. Phoenix is a dumbass. You have to know what's going on here. You have to see it, you know? Come on. <laughs> Based on this thumbnail alone, I am gonna have a time in this one, right? Based on my boy here. <laughs> Miles having a migraine in the thumbnail? This is gonna be a wild time, isn't it? <laughs> Mer- Oh! Great vegetables. <laughs> Great vegetables! I'm sorry, that animation? What?! I feel like this is gonna be the almost Christmas case. <laughs> Mr. Hedgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Oh god, he's gonna be humiliated if I end up defending him, isn't he? Oh god, he's gonna- he's gonna hate that. And it's gonna be beautiful. Prove that badge you wear isn't just some fancy piece of metal. Oh, speaking of my badge. Prove it to me, pal. Show me you're an attorney. Okay, I'll prove to you that I'm a an attorney. Here, take a look at it. That badge! You're showing that to the wrong guy, pal. Hey, you just said you wanted me to prove that I'm an attorney. Where's my mans? Hi. You didn't want to see my face again because it was too beautiful, huh? Hey. Hey, <laughs> did he just walk away? <laughs> he just saw me here, just stared at me, turned and left. Nice. <laughs> Were you in a good mood when you got- I don't think he was in a good mood when he was arrested, Phoenix. J just a thought. So you've come to- <laughs> So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney then? <laughs> Dude, you're- <laughs> He's such a drama queen! What is this? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. I I, I can't even read that in sh with a, with a straight face. <laughs> Was he down there for personal reasons that he does not wish to disclose? Gordy. Oh! <laughs> he wanted to see the mythological creature. <laughs> Did he want to see the 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 mon 
monster that's like a the, the, the urban legend. Does he believe in urban legends like that? <laughs> hey, take a look at this. Your attorney's badge. Edgeworth. Let me defend you. Oh my god, did I actually have to show him that? Oh my god! I was just being silly! <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not... <laughs> how, how am I supposed to react to this? Come on! Come on! <laughs> Come on! It's too easy! It's too easy! Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. I don't want to see you get hurt defending me. <laughs> you in particular, I cannot ask to do this. It would hurt my pride. It would wound my pride. Hey ma'am, take a look at this. Me showing this to everybody isn't a joke anymore. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? I, I guess you're not the witness, or are you? Sounds- What? Ma'am, murder? That sounds awesome. Wow. Sometime on the 24th or 25th, one bullet shot to the heart. On the tw oh, it could be on the 24th or the 25th? Did it happen on almost Christmas? Hey, hello? <gasps> Santa! Hi! Is he selling samurai dogs? Uh, it's- it's Saint Nick! Oh my god! He's mad at me. I've been a bad boy. Long time no see, Nick. Oh, is this Larry? Is this Larry? Cuz... Yeah. Nick and Saint Nick. But Larry's the only other one who called me Nick, so... Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me! Yes, it's him! Yay! So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father- Oh, does he have- He has daddy issues, doesn't he? I'm gonna get emotional over another petty guy with daddy issues. Oh! Hot news. That looks like a- like a hand. That looks like a giant hand that's like a- like a sock puppet. Or was the victim- Was the victim related to Edgeworth? Was it his mother? His father! About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. I didn't want you to learn about my tragic past. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I know you are capable. I just don't want you involved in this. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. I don't want you to be tarnished by it. It pains me to ask you this now. But will you defend me? No, he's... Yes. Will you? Of course! Of course! Who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back for helping me out. Last case. Pay him back? For the last case, yeah. Pay me back? For what? I don't remember doing and ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. It's the, um... Is he referring to something back when they were kids, maybe? Because I thought that was about his help in the uh, previous case. Why is he dressed like a founding father? Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Yeah, you're not the judge. Get out of here. Mm -mm. No. Ma Edgeworth might have learned the little finger wag thingy from you, but like, nah. You don't run this place. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? <laughs> Oh my god, that voice. Dude, it sounds like he's got like a voice changer on to like make him sound like menacing and unidentifiable. Oh my god. I look forward to your next year's salary review. Hey, only Edgeworth can make threats like that. Don't say that about him. Because he has a deep trusting relationship with Edgeworth, therefore he's allowed to receive constructive criticism from him. You, no. No, Maya, no. I can't call my sister. No, Maya. Yeah, you're useless! <laughs> you can say that to her? No, that's so mean. I'm not saying that. Hasty Yankee tops and never find a gal from where I'm from. What? 
Defense attorneys have trouble with that as is. That's why I have a man instead. Nobody loves me! <laughs> but a man just told you the other day that he has unnecessary feelings because of you. Okay, we still can't see faces. Huh. We still cannot see who is firing in this. <gasps> oh, but it's left-handed! It's in the left hand! It's in the left hand! And, um, it showed fingerprints from Miles' right hand, so that couldn't have been Miles firing it! Oh! Tell her something for me. What? Thank you? Tell... Tell her... To what? Oh, I thought it was gonna be like... Th th ugh, I can't even say the words, thank you! To watch what she says in court. That's all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, dude, please go to therapy. Learn how to feel things, please. Oh, the baby. Oh, the baby. Hey, Nick. Hmm? This one's been acting strangely. Oh, is he smelling something? The little creature. Don't call him a- Well, he is a little creature. Hey, I love little doggies. Aww. <gasps> no! I mean, he is working. Yeah, he is working, Larry. Aww. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh my god. Does he smell something? No! Don't kill Larry- Oh, is he eating the- He's eating the samurai dogs, isn't he? He's eating the samurai. Yep, Larry- No! Cannibal! They're not made of real dogs. Oh no! He was a hungry boy. Aw, my samurai dogs. Aw, he ate every single one. Oh, I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry, don't pay my bills, Nick. Aw, he was just hungry. Look at this. That's a lawyer's badge. Oh, I love when it actually progresses the plot when I show this to people. Yay. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to- <laughs> Let's go! Old guy's the goat. I wonder. Holly, what's the number to say? Maya. Oh, 1228. Okay. 1228. Oh, God. Hey, Polly, watch it. Oh, my God. Maya, you little gremlin. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. I hate this man. There's nothing to question in my witnesses. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. There are only 10 seconds left before- No, my god, dude. What is wrong with you? No verdict no Literally, what is wrong with this man? I have to cross-examine. What are you saying? Of course I'll cross-examine the witness. Uh -huh. Oh, he's mad. Cause he didn't get his way. Oh my god, no! Was there any t No! No, we gotta keep going! What?! Oh my god, did I mess up again?! Oh my god! Okay, good. Is it Mia? Is it Mia? Oh, who is that? Oh, is that- Me! Huh? Larry! Alright, did he just literally come barging on here no matter what? Like, god, I was so afraid I got another, like, game over. Alright, man. Is it- is it time for the meme? Is it time for the meme? The DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas! Indeed, and... Yes! Let's go! He said the funny! He said the meme! Let's go! <laughs> Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas! Right? There's something that's been troubling me for a long time now. And I don't know whether or not to tell you. No, there's so little time left. I want to tell you, to get it off my chest. Has he got to confess his love for me? I can't make up my mind. I may or may not be sent to my death. And I don't know whether or not to confess my unnecessary feelings for you. <laughs> it was the very end of third grade. I was on a class trial. Uh oh. Has a body been discovered? Oh no. It wasn't you who stole. Oh, was it Edgeworth's money that was taken? Oh, 
Look at him! He's a little baby! With his little Victorian child look. Wait, you, oh wait, this is what this is what inspired you to be a defense attorney? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> so he became an attorney just to reunite with his old friend and see what had become of him? Is this just like is this just gay legally blonde? Going to law school, becoming an attorney just to follow somebody? If I was a defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet- oh God, he becoming- choosing a career path just to, uh, reunite with an old friend? Not because of, like, your- that- like, that being, like, the main decider in your career? God. This is- God. These two. These two are gonna be the death of me, huh? Edgeworth believed in me and I believed in him. He's in pain, and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help him. Aww. That's really sweet. Aww. I get a screenshot of that. That's sweet. Alright, let's go to the detention center. Let's start here. Hi! We are holding our hands up against the glass of the detention center. Hi, Edgy. Edgy boy. Can I call you Edgy? I heard the story about the class trial. Class trial? What do you mean? Aw, oh, does he not know about how big of an impact that that made on Phoenix's life? I guess it was just a little blip in the radar in his life, especially considering his father died a couple months later. Mr. Ashworth, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. And because he wanted to see you again. Oh my god, Maya's trying to set us up. It does sound like the kind of thing you'd do. <laughs> you... As, um, or as, as Akechi would say, brainless sentimentality, it seems. The sort of brainless sentimentality that would lead you to become a defense attorney by being so moved by what I did for you. He's my teacher, and a man who deserves respect. Dude thinks he's the boss of the courtroom! He's literally like the mean girl Regina George of the courtroom. It's nigh bell impossible to find a weakness in him. Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. Well, it seems like unpredictability is his weakness. He doesn't like things he can't control, like Larry. So maybe we can play off of that somehow. Do you want to show anything else? Maybe the picture. Yeah, I probably shouldn't show that to him. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Vaughn could be- it could have been him. Could he have written it for himself? Or could it have been Von Karma, if you worked with him? Okay. Yeah. Von Karma. Wait! You alright, my boy? Oh, really? Oh, really? Did Von Karma have something to do in this setup? And is he trying to frame his own former mentee? This was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. A vacation. Huh. Man took one minor L and, like, had to step away for like that. Like, what is- is he like the, the, the chef in Ratatouille? I forget his name. Gets criticized- the one who's like in the means. It's like, gets criticized once, fucking dies. Uh-oh. The file for DL6 is completely empty! Haha, -ha, yes! We should have taken all of the files. I we got a couple of the files of it, but not the whole thing. Why did we take the whole thing? Von Karma took it. What are you doing in here? Ugh. Dude looks like he's decaying. This man could be what what what, what do you think we the, the, the other guy I in the did cake? It. <laughs> Don't say that when this man is on the screen! <laughs> I told him to burn it after he Oh my god, he's literally just admitting to it here. God. Are there like security cameras in here or something? No! No! <gasps> oh! Oh no! Oh no! He's gonna tase me! <laughs> oh my god! Is he trying to actually kill me here? <laughs> now, give me the letter. No! No! <gasps> Mia or Maya? <gasps> Maya, no! 
No, Maya! Dude, you just tasted an innocent girl! No! Maya! Oh no, now he's got me. No! Rip. Episode four is over, we died, and Miles goes to jail. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm just- No, you're not, you're not, no. No, 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 Maya, no! Please don't say that about yourself. Maya, she's holding something. Ooh! <gasps> A bullet from an unsolved case? DL6 incident? Evidence number seven, taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember. Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped in. Interesting. Does that match the gun that was in this current case, maybe? You're most definitely not useless. Oh, I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. Oh, Oh my god. Maya! Maya, please give her a hug. She... She's doing her best. Maya, you are doing amazing, sweetie. Defense is ready. And he's gonna- he's gonna be like, Of course I'm ready, you don't need me to say it and waste time. Oh, he's actually saying it! He's actually cooperating, wow. We have reached the final day of the R proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. He's being weirdly cooperative. Mmm, he's definitely hiding something. He's got a card up his sleeve. Perhaps he'd like to uh, cross his- You know what? Sure! If this man has been talking to his parrot, maybe the parrot can say his name. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we can do that. Come on, bring up the parrot. Do it, do it! Call up the parrot! Do it! Come on! What is it, Nick? You're not- Of course we are! Bring Polly up here! <laughs> We're gonna- just gonna call a fucking parrot onto the witness stand. But surely the parrot would know this person's name if the parrot knows important information, right? Mm hmm On my proposal? Yeah, you were joking? Well, you were- you were slash J, I am slash SRS. Let's do it. Exactly, your honor. I would like to cross-examine the way <laughs> Edgeworth is like this fucking moron. <laughs> I just know Edgeworth is like, he's developing a serious migraine right now listening to this. I, will, I honestly just want to see his reactions to this entire trial, like, as it's happening. Like, I'm sure there's probably like a fic out there of it or something, but I would love to know, like, I want to see the live Edgeworth reaction to this trial. Like, what's going on in his head throughout all this? Put the parrot on the stand! <laughs> I'll cross-examine this parrot. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. He has rigged every person's testimony, but he can't with the parrot. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want unpredictable witnesses, witnesses that he hasn't prepped ahead of time, on the stand. It was like Larry before, and now we got Miss Polly here. Yes, she's my last chance. <laughs> Let's- everything's riding on this parrot. Bailiff, bring in the parrot. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Hi, look at her, she's so pretty. <laughs> This is so goofy! <laughs> hello! Hello! <laughs> Certainly the most concise testimony we had so far. <laughs> this is so ridiculous! <laughs> uh, people often do set their secret numbers to date. This is not tangible proof! I set my ATMs. <laughs> Okay, Smitty Werbin Jaegerman Jensen, you think you're number one? We have two bullets in our possession. One, the bullet removed from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet buried in your shoulder. You could analyze both bullets, then if the markings matched, you would know that they both had been fired from the same gun. Is there any- but we'd have to get this surgery done today if the statute of limitations runs out, right? The very same pistol, in other words, the murder weapon that killed Gregory Edgeworth. Mr. Von Karma? You will let us remove the bullet from your shoulder. Then we'll compare the ballistic markings. But we'd have to get it out via surgery though, wouldn't we? And so this case is solved once and for all. Well, Mr. Von Karma? 
Ooh, he's mad. Ooh. He's roaring. Dude is morbing. That scream. You know that scream. That's how he- That's the scream you heard. That's what you heard? When the bullet hit him. Mr. Von Karma? Oh, Edgeworth! Only you would judgeify me! So it was you. The man who taught him everything he knows is the man who killed his father. Oh, <laughs> Dude's trying to give himself a concussion! Right? Yeah? I... I'm not sure how to say this. But, uh... Remember when I told you that I, uh, feel unnecessary feelings because of you? I wasn't totally honest on what those feelings were. <laughs> I know, I know. Try, thank you. I see. Thank you, right. You're welcome. Aww. I think you could have done better than that. Yeah, give him a hug, maybe even a little kiss on the cheek or something, you know? Sorry, I'm not good at this sort of thing. Please go to therapy and learn how to express emotions, my dude. Whoa! Oh my god, Gumshoe comes in. Is he gonna just give a big ol' hug? Gumshoe looks like he gives really good hugs. That's how you say thank you. Hmm, I see. Him. <laughs> oh my god! He probably sounds super, like, stiff when he says this. He's probably like, whoop! Like, very, like, robotic. Oh my god. Baby girl is trying to be cheerful and failing miserably. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Edgeworth, please! He's trying so hard to fit in, and it's not working! <laughs> He's such a loser! <laughs> right? That envelope that Larry gave me. It's got money in it. Well, yeah, that's not strange. People give money away to celebrate something. What is it? There's lunch money? Oh, it's his lunch money! <laughs> so did Larry take it? Or is he just paying him back all these years later? Huh. What a weird amount. It's not a little, but it's not a lot either. The lunch money amount. 38 exactly. So did Larry take the lunch money? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Larry! Larry, you traitor! What are you so surprised about, right? Larry was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored, so he came to school anyway. And he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. I never was good at history. <laughs> Alright, he came to school, but he just decided to skip school but came in because he was bored. How do you have such a vivid memory of that, Edgeworth? Despite you claiming to not remember that incident? You didn't know, did you? I suspected. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right, you may not know this. But we used to have a saying back in school. When something smells, it's <laughs> yep, we know. When something smells, it's usually the butts. I know, I know. Aww. Really, right? I'm surprised you didn't figure it out, you imbecile. <laughs> Aww, they're just bantering like old friends. Aww, this is really sweet. Well, this sure is an unexpected turn of events, eh? Larry's got to be the best man at their wedding. He has to. Yeah. And you get worked up too easily, too. The death sentence for both of you! Oh, Feeny boy. For the longest time, I thought I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Aww. Oh, what a switch! <laughs> Okay, we're, we're sharing our occupations now. All right, they're sharing everything. Funny you say that. Oh no, what? 
Instead of engagement rings or wedding rings, they exchange their lawyer badges, their attorney badges. <laughs> Instead of taking each other's last name, they take our, their occupation. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe took us on the town that night. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom. Did he get all tipsy and everything? Even though Edgeworth himself- Oh! <laughs> he couldn't even come to his own celebration! Although he probably wouldn't want to. He doesn't seem like he likes parties. Which, I get it. But I hope I got to- I hope Phoenix got to go visit him, you know? 